Hey everyone, I have some good news. Uh, I have received a new firmware version for the Radiolink 89, 89S, 8010, 8010S, which supports uh, a pass through uh, for the RSSI uh, value, or the signal strength value, through a spare channel on your radio. And uh, I tested this version. Uh, it came directly from Radiolink and it works perfectly with uh, Mission Planner. I hope it will also work with uh, Beta Flight, Clean Flight and so on. So let me show you my setup. This is my quadcopter. It's currently uh, on. It's uh, connected to Mission Planner. Well, it's not, but I can connect it soon. And this is my radio. Uh, the only thing I did was uh, in the menu if you go to system you uh, I chose uh, uh, wait a second not system parameter you will see it's version 1.6.6 the only thing you have to do on the radio side is you have you, you have to go to the aux channel setting and choose one channel you are not using and choose not a switch but rssi you select it and now if you go into the channel list you can see it's uh, changing the value on the channel 9 in my case according to the rssi so you can see the value of SSI here. Now, if I connect to Mission Planner, GPS one detected as you lost at one hundred and fifteen thousand two hundred billion Australian dollars. Mode Just a few seconds. Stabilized. Arm. Disarm. I will change this value here to show me the RX RSSI. This one, I guess. Yes. And ah, look here. RX RSSI 87. 89. Okay, 87. It changes quickly. But if I hold the antenna, so I block the signal a bit, it falls down to 78, 75, and also here on the radio, 76, 75. So it's working. The only thing you have to do in Mission Planner is open your uh, config, go to full parameter tree, and look for the RSSI. And change the values as as you can see here so you have to change the RSSI ANA pin to 103 channel choose your channel in my case 9 you can use other channel I use channel 9 and uh, RSSI type choose to number 2 it's a uh, RC channel PWM value okay that's all you have to do Write the parameters and you will get your RSSI value on your mission planner. Now you can display it uh, on your uh, OSD or wherever you need. Okay, so this is good news for everyone using the Radio Link system because uh, until now you didn't know your signal strength uh, if you were using goggles or or some kind of uh, FPV monitor with uh, with uh, FPV um, transmission. So I hope you like it. Uh, I will do some more testing and then I will provide the link to the to the firmware so you can use it too. Okay, thank you. Bye.